Yeah, it would take lots of money and lots of time for them to come up with analysis for what you do in seconds. Propyl alcohol is attached to the cerium too. Uh huh. You lined that up again there. Okay. This is the isopropyl. The other one was <clears throat> malonic acid. Uh huh. So I see. I'm, I'm showing you a property of, of cerium. It's it. Uh, you can read this in the literature on cerium. There is a lot of research literature. The book that I show in the that I have a picture of in my books is, is called Lanthanides, and cerium is. Is there anybody else in the world that has done even a small part of what you've done here? Are, are they uh, able no. to without the synchrometer? No, no, you no. couldn't do that. No. This is much more. Uh, is much more technical uh, sophistication than than what is being used to find data on the human or animal body. Mm -hmm. uh, all that there is is a voltmeter measuring voltages, and that uh, you know is pretty old. Uh, yeah. We just haven't advanced the technology for bio biological investigation. If I were to use my imagination and guess that <clears throat> maybe you could put the probe on an area of skin where there's a suspected tumor, maybe a lump, could you detect the presence of the tumor oh, yes. with that? Could oh, you yes. also detect what was in that tumor? Like yes. is it Fasciolopsis busky? Yes. Does it contain benzene? Yes. Does it contain uh, ferrian ferrocyanide? Yes, yes. We can you can do that them. just by touching the probe. Yes to a, a tumor suspected area yes and you can and in fact we do that all the time <clears throat> in order to uh, see what's going on with that person's tumor and we call it um, uh, skin scanning or you know, or body wipe uh, uh, scanning so that we have the equivalent of an x-ray then somebody can take a, a suspected tumor on a breast, let's say, yes. and rub it with a, a damp paper towel that's pure, that's a pure paper towel. Yes. Put that in a baggie, put it in here, put it on a plate, mm -hmm. and you can tell if that is in fact an active tumor. Yes, and, and or whether it's benign or so on. You can that's tell for anything that you want to as a biochemist. That's especially. absolutely phenomenal. Uh, yes, it is. Is anybody else in the world doing this? Well, I'm hoping so because I I wrote that down in the last book called Prevention of All Cancers. Mm -hmm. I wrote down the um, uh, the flow sheet, how you would go from one thing to the next in order to make a logical story out of what you were investigating, and how to have uh, what you need to come up with to to uh, to have a successful uh, ending for the patients. You would start with the patient. I think there are 107 tests like this. You see how fast they go. Uh, and you travel from number one to 107, and by the time they are, they are all correct, you have a cured case. Mm -hmm.